Hey guys, welcome back to another review. I'll be doing my honest review of the TV series Unforgettable, which aired for four seasons and ended a few years back. This review will have spoilers, so if you're planning on watching the series, watch it and then come right back. This video will still be here because it's YouTube. <laughs> Grace doesn't watch the series, but I'm sure we'll hear her thoughts soon after I've given her my review. Maybe some questions as well. But before I get into this review, please give this video a massive like and subscribe to see our Marvel and Disney debates, which get pretty heated sometimes, especially between me and Grace. Our pranks, which also ended me getting a bit, yeah, we're not yeah. going to go. <laughs> and yes, our other reviews bit heated. <laughs> of TV shows and movies. So let's get straight into it. So I think I've got to first talk about Carrie. I mean, she's she's unforgettable. She's a, an amazing character because she remembers literally everything. Like you can just go, so what happened on the 2nd of December, 2020? Yeah, let's Nine. say 2020, because I was going to go 2025, but we haven't got to 2025 <laughs> yet, so that would have been a bit stupid. And, and she would literally be able to tell you all of the like headlines and anything else that happened. So she's like, really amazing and she's got quite a troubled past as well with her sister being murdered and yeah it's she she's gone on quite a bit of a journey and she's she also was involved with Al Burns who she used to work with at Syracuse who she also dated as well and we get to get on that journey throughout the whole four seasons with them they're really the only two constant characters that didn't change there is quite a bit of change in the show, which I'll mention. But yeah, um, I, I really like their relationship because at first we're sort of like, oh, do we really like Al? But then we sort of grow to like him and we sort of end up wanting them to get together. And sometimes it looks like they might, but then all of a sudden there's some sort of obstacle or they're just flirting or something so we, we never really like know when it would happen but I mean we've got to talk about the ending but I'll do that later and you've got Joanne who I really liked I I really loved her she's the Emmy and her relationship with um Carrie is just it's just really nice she, she treat, she's sort of like a mother and she also gives like really good advice and yeah it was it was really annoying when <laughs> she left and Elliot as well, who also left. He was um, the boss of NYPD's major crime division. So I, yeah, Elliot is quite a character. Like Carrie and Al sort of like make fun of him sort of, but I, I think he's a really good character. And again, like I think it was season four, he sort of left like quite early on. So that was quite annoying. Now, I think... I don't know, I feel like some people might have stopped after season one and I was one of those people who nearly did that as well. Because season one, we had like this, we had this cast, like this certain group, like people who worked with Al and Carrie. But then in season two, it's like a new whole group of people because they move, they move, they leave the New York City PD to the major crime division. So it's a whole new group of people. And I was a bit put off because I really liked the people from the first season, but, you know, I, I tried to see the second season because I was like, you know, it seems a bit of a waste to, like, not watch it. And, yeah, I mean, you do grow to love them. Of course, there's a bit of an adjustment period and you're like, oh, I really do prefer the original cast. But in the end, you sort of start to like them. Like, Jay, I really did start to like him and... There's like different additions as well, like suddenly he's got people leaving, coming. There's always that sort of like they they try to keep it fresh, I guess, is a good way of putting it. Now, I'm gonna talk about the ending because yeah, so before I talk about that, I guess this show has been all it's had like a couple it's been I feel like this is the show that's been like the most cancelled and then renewed, cancelled, brought back, that sort of thing. And so it's happened quite a bit. And season four was the last. That was the end. And yeah, so 
that ending. So, okay. So the ending was, Al is, was shot by a sniper and Carrie tries to save him. And that is it. That, that is literally how it ended. That was how that last episode ended. Now you're probably thinking, what? Like, what kind of ending is that? Like, because the, the, the real annoying part was that they were about to, we, we as the audience thought they were about to get back together because they were sort of like cozying up with each other. They were a bit closer after the last case and everything. And then Al gets shot by the sniper and, you know, I mean, I mean, obvi- obviously the main question is, did he survive? Like, did he, did he die? Did, did, like, like oh, it's just so annoying. It's so frustrating. Like, there, there are tons of shows that have had really bad endings, but this has to be the absolute worst. And what makes it even worse is that this show has always been, you know, it's always had that issue of, is it going to be cancelled? Is it going to be renewed? So they must have at least known that there was a chance that it would be cancelled. And still, and still they left it with Al being shot by a sniper and we don't know whether they end up back together or not. And... I mean, who shot him? Like, we we are left lit, literally as the audience just left thinking like, because normally you know I I don't mind an, an ending where you can sort of like imagine it, but for this one it was just it just felt really like loose. There was it didn't get tied up at least enough. Like if I compare it to something like Winona, that that's ending. I I really enjoyed that ending because. It left you thinking, wow, there is there is potential for something to happen. Like you can imagine it. Like I'm you can imagine it for this, but it's just not the same. Because it ended it ended it on like such a big thing. So yeah, the ending was rubbish. And I want to know from anybody who's also watched the show down below in the comments. Whether, whether you thought the ending was rubbish too. <laughs> because it was absolutely rubbish like I've I've never seen an ending so bad in my whole life and another issue I have have with this series is um what happened to the mystery about her sister's murder because that's that's how the that's how the the first how the show started like that is what that's what I thought we were trying to we were trying to get across like with the with the season stuff but it just stops after a bit like like there's no mention of it like after a season one I mean there's a few things that I said but nothing really to do with the case and it's like was it ever resolved like so we never get closure from something that started the series in a sense because that that's a really big like big part of Carrie especially for someone who like literally remembers everything so we never get to see like what exactly happened and like like a lot of the first first season's episodes her mum's mentioned and we get to see her mum and stuff but all of a sudden her mum just like disappeared <laughs> it's like it didn't exist I was like that doesn't make sense because Carrie like literally visited her I was like where did her mum go so there are a lot of loopholes in the show like like I wish I wish they had a better ending because that ending sucked. And I wish they really did tie up, especially because her sister's murder was like, was like one of the cases that sort of like, just, you know, and then they finally got into it. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, who? She, she had a sister? Like, like if I had forgotten, I, <laughs> I wouldn't have blamed myself because there's literally no mention of it. But yeah, even even though I say all this bad stuff, the the show was still really entertaining. Like, don't get me wrong, it was really interesting to see like how Carrie used her memory and was like able to just pull back so much information and just like 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 so quickly. Like, I struggle remembering stuff, so just seeing someone who can literally just recite it in like one second is amazing. It's like um, it's it's the best superpower I think you could have. Like, I'm probably gonna regret saying that because. Now think about it, there's another one, but when I when I'm gonna get into that. But yeah, it's just so amazing. And 
the fact that she gets to use it on these cases and gets to help solve these like sometimes it's like hackers sometimes it's like bombers like there's this there's like a loads of different cases and it's really interesting to see like how the whole gang tries to solve it like Jay is more into the like the the digital sort of stuff like using technology to sort of help solve the case and then Joanne gives her Emmy perspective so like what does the body say or you know it, it depends on the case but sometimes there isn't a body but most times there is that's it I think about it, I'm pretty sure every single case had a body but I don't know I can't remember it's been a while <laughs> but yeah it's it's definitely a really interesting show and yeah I mean there's there's just a few things you know of course that I wish they would have done something else for it but I don't know I don't think this this series will get renewed because it's been a while I think it was 2016 from memory I don't know so it's been quite a while and yeah. yeah. So if this if the show got renewed for like a fifth season, um, would you watch it or would you maybe look not like in case you in case there'll be another cliffhanger <laughs> and it stops it gets cancelled again. <laughs> that is the worry, isn't it? Um, I think I would watch it because I want to know what happens to Al. Like if if season five begins with them saying like I was like pronounced dead no no that is just that is just terrible like you can't you can't leave season four with them both like actually like about to get back together after all the stuff they've been through and then like literally kill him off like we we as the audience want like a happy ever after right well I know sometimes it's not possible but you know at least some yes. sort of happiness. Mm. Yeah. God, that does sound like there's a lot to take in. I mean, the story sounds great, but it just sounds like it's been like a bit of a disappointment one after mm. another. And I mean, it does actually sound great. Like the character sounds great. Like the story, um, how like she's got, she's gifted with like remembering everything. I think that would be a slightly a cusk if I if I saw something that I didn't want to see it's be stuck true. in my head. <laughs> true. Yeah. Uh good. But um yeah, I mean, would you recommend to do anyone or would you um I would, but I'd be hesitant about really getting absorbed into it. Like sometimes some people can really get into a show and it like becomes like you know, like that's how it is for me, like for Daredevil or House Empty mm. or Winona or you know Malcolm in the middle and I really get absorbed and I'm like whoa but I really I if 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 you tend to be like that then don't watch this because you aren't gonna have that happy ever after at the end you're not gonna have that really good ending that a series deserves but it is worth watching it just to see like how Carrie uses her skills and just like the cases as well because the cases aren't you know they're, they're not really like homicide they're not like they're not like there's there's more to it than that like the, there are sometimes like dead bodies and stuff don't get me wrong but there's also like I said before like hackers and stuff and like trying to figure out who the hacker is what they want and that sort of thing and that's not really something like a lot of shows really go into and how they actually solve it is is really amazing sometimes as well especially Carrie just like you know like ooh you know what I read that in the newspaper that might have a link to that oh I saw that guy across the street he seems a bit suspicious and she remembers that like later on or something like you know it, it's amazing but yeah I mean I mean give it a try but don't expect too much from its ending and yeah just just be ready for it to keep evolving is the good word <laughs> to describe it <laughs> But yeah, would would you watch it? Um, I mean, if you, I mean, I would, I would. Like, if I haven't heard of it, I was actually going to. It was on the list, but 
uh, just not knowing they won't, this isn't going to be like a very satisfying ending or like mm. there won't be any closure. I mean, it sounds like a great idea to watch if I never heard of it, but now I just feel like I'm slightly 50 50 on it. It does put honest. you off, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, yeah. Yeah, if I had known in advance, I don't think I would have watched it. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> No, this is definitely a loss. <laughs> oh, <fair. sighs> but yeah, okay. um, thanks for listening to my review of Unforgettable. Love to hear your thoughts, so drop us a comment down below. Did you enjoy Unforgettable? Who is your favourite character? I mean, I feel like everybody's going to say Carrie, but <laughs> maybe someone might say Joran as well. Maybe someone would say Al. I mean, let us know. Would you want a season five? Like, I'm. I don't think I want a season five. I think I think just leave it because I can't be asked for something more to happen and like and to leave it on a cliffhanger. But let us know down below what your opinion is on that and anything else you want to say about the show as well. But do give this video a like if you liked it. And please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content at the debate hut. Until next time, bye for now.